Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa, and on this extremely cold night, I'd like to welcome you out to the shed of many names where we make many things in the shed. And it's cold out there. Last time I checked was 29. Finally got it nice and warm in the shed. Tonight we're going to be talking about making a cacao nib uh, tincture. Or if you don't want to use it medicinally, it can be an extract, a chocolate, a pure chocolate extract. Now, cacao nibs, these are roasted. You want to use either roasted or raw. Either one. They both have extremely medicinal benefits and the most flavor. Because these are the cocoa beans cracked down. And this is where it goes into being made into cocoa uh, powder and also down into milk chocolate and so on. But that's milked down and sugared down. This is the raw. Hardly any sugar in this, y'all. Now, I got mine from Mountain Rose Herbs. If you cannot find local organic cacao nibs, you can use my affiliate link in the description below, description box below this video. And if you shop from my link, I'll get a small commission. No charge to you whatsoever. All right, with that being said, I'm going to be having cacao nibs. These were roasted. You either want raw or roasted. Both of them are great. The medicinal benefits of this amazing, amazing plant. Now, yes, it will have some caffeine in it in this stage because it's pure. <coughs> All right. For women who have problems with uh, painful menstrual cycles, this will help you. Um, it will also help women who are going through menopause having uh, hot flashes and cold flashes. High in flavonoids, which is an uh, anti, uh, um, it's good for your immune system. It's also anti-inflammatory. I'll have more information in the description box below. I'll go more into depth. Also, good for heart health. Good for heart health. Also helps to control sugar in diabetics. It can also help your pancreas to become a little more sensitive to accepting insulin as well. Many wonderful benefits. Anti-inflammatory as well. So much information. So much for this amazing, amazing um, tincture and this plant. Of course, yes, it's a bean. So, let's start making a tincture, y'all. Of course, this is a one-pound bag. Oh, y'all. Oh, that smells so good. Now, make sure that your workspace is clean and sanitized. Make sure that your uh, jar that you're going to be using, I'm going to be making a half gallon because I make big batches. You can make a pint jar, you can make a quart jar, or you can make a half gallon jar. You're going to want 80 proof vodka. This time the reason for 80 proof vodka is this is dry. Dry. And like I said, if you want to make use it instead as an extract, 80 proof vodka, y'all. I have a canning funnel and my lid and band. So... Make sure that your jar, your vessel that you're using is clean. Hold on just a minute. Sorry, y'all. The, the camera kept getting darker and darker. All right. 
Now, oh, it smells just like a really good dark chocolate. Okay, let's. Let's not waste any. Make sure you don't waste any of it because this is precious. And no, it's not that expensive. Uh, it's that I just try not to waste anything. All right, now with this being as strong as it is, I'm going to fill my jar up almost halfway, but not quite. Halfway would be four cups um, at the three cup mark. Because this is going to be potent. It's going to end up being very potent. Okay. Like I said, I have it almost halfway filled because this is going to be very stout. I'm going to take my funnel out. Now I've already opened my alcohol to get rid of that pour top thing that they put a little plastic thing in that's aggravating. And of course, as it hydrates, some of your alcohol. Oh my gracious, I wish y'all could smell this. Look at that. And I fill mine all the way to the uh, rim because of I don't want oxidation happening. What we're going to do is put our lid on and we're going to agitate it, roll it around. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. All those beautiful little cocoa nibs fixing to go to work. Let me tell y'all. The scent was amazing coming off of it as I was putting the alcohol in. You couldn't even smell the alcohol. It just smelled like fresh chocolate, dark chocolate. Now, you're going to want to check your alcohol layer or level, not layer, but it's still at the rim. Now, while you're pouring your alcohol in, you will see like um a little bit of what looks like cocoa powder that's fine that's that's what this would have been turned into if it would have went through with the process and you'll have a few bubbles don't worry they will pop or you can pop them do not worry about the the chocolate powder that you will see because all that is is from them um chopping up the beans the cocoa beans now you're going to want to put this in a cool dark place for eight weeks or longer y'all as long as it sets for eight weeks now take your little old Sharpie marker. And you're going to put cocoa nibs. I'm making a tincture. If you're making an extract, put your extract on it. And this is 31823. And like I said, you notice that it's already starting to get a little dark. This is going to get really dark, so do not worry about it. Not what's so bad. Now, put it in a cool, dark area. 
agitate it every day, every couple of days, not violently. Just enough to get it moving around. You might see a few little bubbles. That's fine. And there you have the makings, the beginnings of your cocoa nib tincture or your extract. Either or, or if you want to, I've got enough to easily make a quart jar of extract and a half, uh, half a gallon of tincture. Like I said, it was... When I caught it, just a little over, just a hair over 13, I think it was 13, a hair over 13 a, a bag. A whole lot cheaper than what I was paying for, and these are 100% certified organic. Simple, easy, anybody can do this. And like I said, I'll have more information in the description box below this video. Now. No, I'm not giving dosage amounts yet. You know why? It's not ready. Why give out dosage amounts now? Because it's not ready. And you can't take it. It's not, you can't use it. It's eight weeks, y'all. At the eight week mark or a little later, depends on when I get back around to it, I'll make another video of straining it. And then we'll talk about the dosage amount. If you cannot wait for that video, do the research yourself. Do your own research. It's not hard to do, but just remember to gently agitate it every day or every other day, and it's going to get darker and darker, and it's going to get really dark because it's pulling all the medicinal benefits out of the cocoa nibs and all the flavor as well simple easy you can do this yes you can you have to believe in yourself you can do anything y'all within reason uh all you need is uh cocoa nibs either raw or roasted Roasted gives it just a little more depth of flavor. Vodka, 80 proof vodka, a container, a lid and band, top, something. Don't use any cheesecloth. You want this securely tight. You don't want any oxidation. Now, as it sits and it comes to work together keep an eye on your alcohol level if it drops a little bit nothing wrong it just means that the alcohol has gone into the cocoa nibs and a lot of times it'll pull it back out but if it drops just top top your jar off with more 80 proof vodka it's gonna be fine y'all no need to worry about anything this is a wonderful tincture to have in your medicine cabinet especially if you have women in the family that has PMS or menopause symptoms for uh, diabetics it's wonderful for people that have heart conditions it's wonderful for heart health it's very good for inflammation uh, and like I said I'll have all the well, most of the information in the description box below you need to do a little research on your own as well always read up about everything simple easy anyone can make this everyone stay safe and sound stay positive we're going to make this we're going to make it through this together continue to stock up your pantries with food that will sustain you Food that will feed your body and uh, nutritious food that will feed your body, not junk food. Stock your medicine cabinets. This can either be medicine or flavoring. Either or. Because this can be added to coffee once it's done. If you wanted to 
flavor it with chocolate, pure chocolate. <laughs> you just remember, not sweet, not sweet whatsoever. So much needs to be done, but we got time. We're going to keep doing it. It's not over yet. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Everyone, stay safe and sound. Take care. And may you each be blessed. I'll see y'all soon.